Oh. Hello, Evelyn Winters. Uh, I've got a question for you, love, if you don't mind. I've written a book, right? And I want to get it published into print. And I've got to format it professionally using a KDP template. But I don't know how. It's taken nearly half my life to write this book. It's the, the best thing I've ever written. I can't give up now. But I'm stuck. I've been following your videos and you keep saying it's a piece of cake but I, I can't see how this bit can be. Can you help me? Ta. <laughs> yes, I can help. First of all, head over to the KDP Manuscript Template download page. The link is in the description box below. Oh, right, you yeah. can choose from a blank template or templates with sample contents. Let's download both and compare. Okay, love. First, let's look at the blank template. Open the template for your book size. Oh, I haven't decided that yet, but go you on. You simply start typing into this document or paste your existing manuscript into here. To start, you will need to enable editing. Let's have a look at the layout. Click on Layout tab and then the Page Setup Launcher. KDP have already preset your margins and gutter. They've also set your orientation and mirrored the margins ready for printing. I might have to watch that bit again. The paper size has been set to the size of your book. Now let's take a look at the template with the sample content. The page setup is exactly the same except this time you will see the sample content. Enable editing. Okay love. Start replacing the sample content with your text. Oh yeah, I think I can do that bit. There is sample text for your copyright and ISBN number and also for dedications. Just simply highlight the text and replace it. They've provided a content list for you. All you need to do is change the chapter titles and the page numbers when you've completed your manuscript. If you don't require a content page, just simply highlight and delete it. So here is where we start adding our chapters. So they've given you a chapter title and then your chapter content. Let's have a look at the formatting. It's here we can see things such as the page breaks. Select the Home tab and then click on the Show Hide icon. Here is the break which separates each chapter. Select the sample text and delete if you're writing your book. Or keep it selected and copy your original manuscript. We have to do this chapter by chapter. So look for Chapter 1 and copy. Now go back onto your template. Select the Home tab, then look at your Paste options. Choose the first option to keep your destination settings. If the formatting is different on your original manuscript and you'd like to keep this, then choose the Source Formatting option. Now let's look at the page headers. Double click to activate the header and footer ribbon. You can either have your book title showing on every page or you can select different for odd and even pages. This will allow us to add the book title and our author name and they will appear adjacent to each other. Oh hey, I didn't know you could do that. I think I'll do that with mine. Now close the header. As you can see, the book title and the author name appear on odd and even pages throughout the manuscript. However, not on the first page of your chapter. Oh right, yeah. 
The template provides the page numbers. You can edit these by double clicking in the footer and select page number on your header and footer ribbon. Yeah I've, uh, I've, yeah, I've used that before. Here is a useful tip. You can either use the template chapter as it is and replace the name or by selecting Ctrl F on your keyboard, you will open a navigation pane. Select the Headings tab. It's here you can outline your document. Currently, the sample formatting doesn't do this. On the Home ribbon, select Heading 1 in the Styles group. We can edit this style by clicking on the launcher in the bottom right hand corner of the group. Oh, I wonder what that was for. Find Heading 1 and click on the drop down arrow and select Modify. Let's change the name to Chapters. Then change the formatting of your choice. At the bottom left of the dialog box select Format, then Paragraph. Change before spacing to zero and line spacing to single. As you can see, our chapter one heading is now outlined in the heading section. Now let's apply our new style to all the chapters in our manuscript. As we do this, they all appear in our heading list. Now we can easily navigate through our document as we're working through our chapters. Using these headings will help you to complete your content list at the beginning of the book more easily. And that's how to use a KDP template with sample text. Talov. Hey listen, if you found that useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go on. What are you waiting for? Alright, oh, that does look professional, that love. Hi Evelyn Winters, uh, it's me again. Uh, I just wanted to say a great big tar love uh, for the help you've given with my manuscript. I've now got something professional ready to publish into paperback. Uh, so I'm going to watch the next video on how to do that. So a great big thumbs up from me. I've just got my book cover to do as well. Uh, I'm sure there's a video on that as well. Tar love.